That disturbance we've been watching all week became subtropical storm Alberto this morning. It is expected to enter the Gulf later tonight, and now that it has a name, the question remains, where will it make landfall and how strong will Alberto be? Good afternoon, I'm Sheba Turk filling in for Eric Paulson. We want to get straight over to Chris Franklin for the latest on Alberto. And Chris, the big question is, what is the difference between a tropical storm and a subtropical storm? I know a lot of folks have been kind of confused with that uh, verbiage subtropical storm Alberto winds are still very strong 40 miles an hour so it has reached the classification become a tropical uh, storm but the subtropical part of it refers to the fact that the structure is a bit different notice on satellite you have the center of the storm and you see where the position of that is but where is all the convection where are all the storms they're not around the center like you would see in a tropical system they're well displaced away from the center so this doesn't quite have all of the characteristics of a tropical system. It kind of looks, you see all the convection, it kind of looks like a big comma. It more looks like a frontal system than a tropical system. So it doesn't have the tropical characteristics right now. However, it's still going to be associated with some gusty strong winds and a lot of rainfall. Although what you notice on here is that the convection is really having a tough time getting better organized around that center. We'll kind of explain that and why coming up in just a moment. But here's the forecasted track taking it toward the northern north central Gulf Coast sometime late on Monday, maybe Monday evening into early Tuesday. Again, timing could change right now. Forecasted thinking is that it will be a strong tropical storm with winds of about 65 miles an hour just before landfall late on Monday. At the moment, the track would keep the worst of it away from us. We're still expecting quite a bit of rainfall. The rainfall that we're experiencing today, going to see tomorrow and for the first part of the day Sunday, has nothing to do with Alberto. Just a lot of tropical moisture in the atmosphere and daytime heating causes some showers and thunderstorms to develop. And that is why the Weather Service has placed us under a flash flood watch until Saturday evening. We could see four to six inches of rainfall. Then we've got by Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, the rainfall that we are expecting from Alberto. Rain on radar right now. Again, the storms that we have primarily along the coast and on the south shore in the metro area, nothing to do with Alberto. Alberto is still well down to our south. These are not associated with it. But we're still going to have a decent coverage for storms today, tomorrow, and Sunday before we get the rainfall associated with the tropics. We'll have a full look at your pinpoint forecast coming up in just a moment. Thank you, Chris. Well,